the base game. I'm not wanting to play After Years. So hopefully it's not going to force me to play After Years. Okay. It's just a cutscene. Okay, gotcha. Good, good. Okay. What's this data install thing? Uh, well, it's already installed, technically, so I don't think we need to do that. Okay. That's probably if you had the actual, like, PSP cartridge or whatever. Okay. Let's start a new game, then. This was the game that I think cemented me being a uh, JRPG fan. Like, I mean, I like JRPGs before, but... I, like, sought them out after playing this game. Okay. Looks familiar, but beefed up so far. Oh, yes, hello. Thank you, Completionist, for following. I thought you had already done so. I guess you must have just got in here. Yeah, that bumps up to 60. Get to fight our first battle. Oh, that's totally fine. Oh, I don't actually get to fight. It's auto battle right now. But yeah, look how much better those graphics look, man. Definitely an upgrade. I wish they did a Final Fantasy 5 and 6 in this manner. But those look a little too cartoonish, I thought. I mean, I watched this on a 4K TV, and this was on the original PSP, which was like 480 by 360, and it still looks pretty good. Or, it was something like that, 480 by 240, or... Uh, PSP had a weird resolution. Well, that's really good. Do you have any plans for the weekend, Completionist? What, what is your plans? Okay. Did I get control yet? They redid the soundtrack too, although I I wouldn't have cared if they would have redone it or not, honestly. Yeah. So I guess we'll probably just stay home. Maybe uh, catch up with some backlog or something.
Ah, that's good. That's good. I'm playing this on the PlayStation TV. I don't know if you're uh, familiar with that system or not, but it's pretty sweet. Because you can play Vita and PSP games on it. PS1, of course. Oh, yeah, he's kicking him out. Why can't you use it while you work away from home? Do you not have a TV, I guess, to plug it in? I guess if that's the case, then I guess playing it on a PSP or Vita would be the way to go. Okay. So now I've got control. Look at the menu. Ah, nothing fancy there. Wonder if they redid the translation at all. Cause the text box seems like it could fit a lot more text than it could back in the Super Nintendo days. Yeah, I suppose. I mean the PlayStation TV itself is actually really small, but I guess you have to factor in that you'll have to take a controller and cables and stuff like that with it, too. So, yeah. Probably not the best thing to take if you pack light unless you just absolutely have to play on a TV something. Okay. So, uh, I think this is where we're supposed to, um, shack up at the bedroom. And we run into, uh, Rosa. If I remember right. Okay. I ran really fast. How did I do that? Oh, okay, X. Okay, so you can hold X to run faster. That was really weird how it said 480 gil. Like, it was just randomly inserted. The text was a lot bigger. <laughs> but the ether, no, the ether and the tent, yeah, those are, those are normal size. Okay, I don't remember if there was anything this way or not. I think this might be the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Pretty standard stuff so far in RPG. Yep, this is completely the wrong way. I really like the tile set graphics they have here. They look really detailed.
Yeah, let's talk to the mages. Come on, mages. Get to the door. So I can talk to you. Crappy mages. You won't talk to me? Yeah, there you go. You idiots don't know anything. And Crystal isn't just any old jewel. This sucks because you have to wait for the... Okay, there you go. You have to wait for the NPC to walk towards you. I guess if I stand here long enough, they will, but... <laughs> okay. Alright, let's, uh... Proceed with the story, I suppose. Oh, there's Sid. Everybody loves Sid. Sorry if I passed the text boxes through too quickly. I, uh... I'm a fast reader, but I try to purposely leave it a few seconds or so off. So I'm not going to be one of those people that voice acts characters in a, a JRPG. <laughs> no way. I've done that before, and it's very annoying. Because I don't like it myself, so I'm not going to do it. But yeah, as, as great that Final Fantasy IV is, it does fall into the RPG trope of NPCs that don't really have much useful to say. Like, most NPCs just say a bunch of random crap, pretty much. I guess that that was just a thing back then. Like, just to add to the interactivity, you would throw in a bunch of random people like that. Okay. Stop dinging notification sound. There we go. That'll fix that. Should have. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I turned off the notification sounds. Stop it. There's people message me on Facebook Messenger, or not messaging me, it's like a group chat, but it keeps dinging even though I have, like, no sound on at all. Ugh. Gotta love it. They kind of make her look sort of like Sela's does in uh, Final Fantasy VI with that updated sprite. That's kind of the vibe I've got at least from it. Because it almost looks like she's wearing the same kind of armor. Alright. 
I'm gonna shut up because this opening is epic. Okay. Nice to see they preserve the mode 7 effect. I know that's obviously not the way to go. I know where to go. I just kind of exploring. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely the best part of the graphics, the combat graphics. They really beef them up good. Very nice looking sprites. Okay, so I guess we go up this way. Yeah, it's over here. I think. No, it's not. Here's the cave. You ever played this version, Completionist? Kind of curious to know if it's easy or hard compared to the other one, or if it's like pretty much the same. Yes, create it now. There's no data, yes. Well, that's why we're trying to save it. We don't need to load data, we need to save data. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that way we'll have a point to kind of resume if we die or something. It shouldn't be too much trouble. Being in the game is easy enough. You don't really need to grind or anything. Ambushed. Okay. Starting to get first strikes. Dang. Like, did they uh, make the enemies easier or something? I don't remember. Oh, shoot. I guess I probably should have did more damage. Wasn't there like a... Yeah, there is. Swap rows. Oh, whoops. That's not what... Whatever. Guess it worked either way. Oh, that's kind of weird. Good job. Get him, Kane. Now we ain't turning back. We're on a mission. Uh, okay. Oh, you never beat Final Fantasy IV? Huh. Oh, yeah, that's because you're the completionist. <laughs> you don't truly beat a game until you uh, do everything in the game. So, yeah, I guess... 
certain games can be pretty uh, tough like that, of course. I personally don't care at quite as much for that. I'm not going for a complete run. But yeah, just about any Final Fantasy game is really annoying to play if you're going for that, of course. I've got the uh, Steam version too, the one that's the 3DS version, or 3DS to DS version. It's not bad, but I prefer the look of this, personally. There we go. Perfect. That's kind of weird. Why would I not take it? Huh. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by those needle attacks. Yes, PSP version. I never played it. Always wanted to. Crap. Just attack. How you doing, by the way, blue chick? Dang, these enemies don't attack or something. I went three whole rounds without them attacking. Okay. So here we go. I guess I'll use the potion. I don't want to be caught off guard in this fight. Yeah, I've got the uh, DS version via Steam. I don't know if... I only played a little bit of it. I played, like, maybe, like, an hour. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I can't really speak for it that much. I forgot if his darkness attack's good against his enemy. It might be. I'll check it out. Nope. Probably stick with regular attacks until the transformation happens. Yeah, this one definitely feels easier. Like, the enemy's not doing hardly any damage. I wonder if there was, like, a difficulty slider or something maybe I uh, messed with. I don't think so, though. Okay, turn into mist. Okay, so we gotta wait now. Actually, I forgot. Can he attack with the darkness? I'm not gonna risk it. Now you jump. There we go. Yeah, really easy fight. 
Probably didn't even need to use a potion, but oh well. Okay. Oh, it, okay, I was say, it did not save my spot, apparently. Yeah, why not? What are any settings I can adjust here? Yeah, it's fine as, as it is. Uh, I might. I might. It just depends on how I'm feeling about playing... Kill him. There we go. So here's the village. Gotta drop off the signet, of course. Oh, yeah. Let it burn. The fire effects could have been better, but oh, well. I like the little embers, at least, that kind of, like, fly along. That's pretty neat, but that fire looks really cheesy. I wonder if Awesome Stuff got his avatar from this version or the original. I haven't seen that dude in forever. Ever since he uh, did a live stream with John and some others way back in the day. Are we supposed to attack? I don't remember. Oh, well, shoot. If she's summoning something on us, then yeah, we have to. Oh, never mind. Until I forgot about this part.
Oh, one step and I go into combat, of course. <laughs> Sounds legit. Now, I always found this kind of enemy really funny, a desert Sahagan, because the Sahagan is supposed to be like a sea creature, but it's a desert sea creature. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> just seemed like, yeah, we knew they were a desert enemy, but, uh, yeah, let's just use a Sahagan sprite. Call it a desert Sahagan. Nobody will question that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I appreciate it, Completions. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna kill off some desert Sahagans for you. Go back to the ocean. <laughs> it's where you belong. Gained a level. Oh, oh great. I gotta fight a sandworm now. Really good. Okay, so here we are in Kaipo. Jeez, these guys are all melodramatic. Then you shall die. I mean, you can't just, like, arrest me or something like that. Well, I guess I'd probably still fight him anyways, but... <laughs> yeah, wimp. Well, I guess I'd flee too if I just saw this guy hack up my three soldiers <laughs> in, like, five seconds. So, smart of him. Let's see what you got here. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll buy one of those. Just in case. I'll buy like three of these. Uh, that's fine for now, I think. Sounds good. Where's that Kaipo punch at?
I guess we'll uh, check out the armor shop and whenever. Wait, is this the. Uh, yeah, Mr. Naming Way? Nah. So, equals. Okay, so we already have all the good clothing. Gotcha. So that's a really useless shop then. <laughs> really pointless to have that shop. Here, buy this equipment that you already either already have or is worse than what you have. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Staff infused with the power to de detoxify. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll buy the staff. Yeah, it'll increase her attack by a good one. Fantastic. Oh, I picked up something. I guess it was an ether or something. So I missed it. Really? Oh, okay. I forgot I could do that. Ah, good advice. Well, how do I do just... Is there a way I can do it with just one character? Oh, I probably have to do an actual battle and then it should set after that. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Perfect. Got to figure it out now. It's a classic scene. That was pretty impressive. You stood on water. Okay, I guess... I guess we're done with this village. <laughs> Ain't nothing else really to do here. How many saves do I have? Oh, shit, you get a whole crap ton of saves. But dang, Rydia has, like, no stats. I'll have to grind her a little bit, because she is level 1. Like, holy crap. I'll have her sit back and defend until I can get her tough enough. Okay, good, good. She got levels. Oh, 
Oh yeah, everybody's favorite part of the RPG, the good old grind. Whenever you actually want random encounters to pop up, uh, the game seems to know that <laughs> that you want them and it stops giving them to you. Oh shit! Good job, bozo. <laughs> Crap. I got a little overzealous with the uh, cursor commands, so I accidentally attacked my own party member. Fantastic. Okay, good. She's got cure now. Let's have a cast on herself. Good stuff. I'll probably get her to like level six and then we'll move on because I don't think I need her like super high or anything like that. Plus she'll level up as we go along. Yeah, she ain't gonna do anything for damage right now, but she's got at least enough health that I don't have to have her do defend anymore. Wonder why you're is it because she's in the back row? Is that why your actions are so low? I don't think that's it. Yeah, might as well hit it with some darkness since it's a... Uh... That's probably what I should have been using this whole time. Could have hit all the enemies with it. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, that's so much better. Speeds things up. Yeah. What level is she right now? Okay, yeah, I said I wanted to get her to six. She should be pretty close, I think. Yeah. She needs literally two experience points. So one more fight out to do it. Plus, Cecil needs to get healed up anyways. He needs him some of them HPs. Oh, shoot, I just realized it takes health from him. Good going, Dow Phoenix. <laughs> I, I, thought I, I thought I found a great way to uh, deal with these low-level enemies and get rid of them, but no, it drains my health. So never mind. It's not even that useful then in that case.
Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So now let's go to the uh, ant lion's den. And we'll uh, save Rosa, I suppose. I don't think this is the right cave. But maybe I have to go here anyways. Oh, there's good old Tella. Hey, great. We got Tella now. Oh, he's a little 20. Okay, we don't have to worry about him. He can't hang, hang, hang his own. kind of funny to think about it. He's technically the tank of the party right now. <laughs> Even though he's an old man with no armor. Oh, okay. There you go, Tella. You got a little extra magic defense and whatnot now. Tella can uh, whip up some thunder for us. Perfect. Yes, this is a classic uh, secret nobody knows about. Well, a lot of people do actually, I suppose, but... There you go, you can use that for your own devices if you need to. Let's go ahead and have you cast your uh, spells and whatnot. Makes things a lot easier here. Oops, I cast the wrong spell. Oh, well. It still did damage, I suppose, so... Perfect. Good work, Tella. Okay.
I'm just gonna go ahead and use a tent. Why not? But before I do, I wonder if there was anything over to the left. I don't remember if there was or not. That's generally a good rule of thumb when it comes to spells in Final Fantasy. Like, whatever environments you're fighting the enemies in, typically use whatever spell is weak against those types of enemies. Pretty simple stuff, really. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything else. Yeah, I heard about that, JRPG Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's such a shame that's happening, because, like, uh... What it? Oh, he's sucking his MP up. Okay, you bastard. <laughs> Not what I want you to do. Yeah. Me too, man. I love this game. It's a fantastic game. First time I ever played the PSP version. It looks like a very solid port. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna bother using a 10. I might as well just go to town and use the end. Oh, but I guess I could possibly use that armor shop now. <laughs> since I've got Tella. He might not have all the armor pieces. Yeah, he doesn't have the leather cap. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I don't have one. So I'll go ahead and buy him one. Okay. There you go. You want this on Mizwitch? Oh, your Switch. Okay, yeah, of course. Mizwitch. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Like, wh what's that? <laughs> yeah, this would be awesome. Square Enix, bring us some of the classic um, Final Fantasy and other games from back in the day. Especially any remakes like this. Bring us those to a uh, home console for once. Which I guess I'm technically playing this on a home console. It's the PlayStation TV, but... It originally was a handheld release. Oh, the DS remake? I've got it on Steam. It's basically the same thing. It's just, you know, higher resolution and whatnot, so... All right, yeah, cast that blizzard spells. Yeah. No, I get that. Especially if you're on a phone, it uh, autocorrect and things like that sometimes get lost in translation. Dang, Tella did a pretty good hit with its staff. Impressive. And these guys don't hit very hard. I'm not going to waste my magic on them. Shoot, I wonder if I should use her summon spells. So I know you can get, like, I think two different summons in this desert here. Hold on, let me, I'm going to take a look at something real quick here. Okay, it's not really worth it. 
I think if I read it right, the only summon you can get potentially is the Imp. Which would be really tough to get because you'd have to fight in the grassy area and it's a rare drop. And the Imp summons suck, so it's like kind of more of an Easter egg thing than really anything useful. Crap. Give me back to Twitch. Phone. Yeah, Bolt is useful against fishes. Yeah, that's probably true, but the uh, Blizzard seems to do very good. Plus, those are the desert Sahagans. So, uh... Yeah, exactly. I remember getting it, like, way back in the day. And, like, not understanding if it was, like, just not very good or if I was using it against the wrong enemies. <laughs> Oh, no, you toted him. Dang it. I forgot if he stays at status. Yeah, he does. Oh, shit. Okay, I've got... Well... I'm going to temporarily move him over here so he can be in the back row. So I don't know if I want to waste my uh, thing just yet. Pink tail? Uh, Not that I can think of. Oh, that's right. You can't cast any spells, stupid frog. <laughs> Probably should have attacked the amoeba, but oh well. What's recall? I don't even know what that does. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, he tries to remember a spell. That's right. Okay. I guess I'll have him do that for now because he can't really do anything useful as a toad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job, Tella. I like his little frog sprite. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. The completionist was talking about that earlier. Like, he never beat the game because he couldn't get that or something. Um, not Gerard the Completionist, Derek the Completionist, for anybody that's not aware. I know you probably are JRPG, I'm not sure if, uh, Blue Chick is or not, though. I don't know, let me know when you find those. I'd be really interested in trying those out sometime. Oh, God. Yeah, when we get close to that door, I'll probably end up going ahead and use that Maiden's Kiss. For now, I'll leave him as a toad, because I've only got just the one. I'll let him go ahead and do his thing before she casts. Okay.
Well, I thought the 5 and 6 remakes were supposed to be the same graphical style. At least that's what they looked like to me. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Yeah, I know a lot of people complain about the Chrono Trigger one, but, um... To Square Enix's credit, they did offer the, uh, original mode, too, so... Hopefully the Toads will attack Tella so that they can change him back or something, maybe. I no, guess not. Holy crap, dude. Freaking... Freaking spawn rate of the enemy is crazy here. Alright, let's cast Cure. Oh, really? That's all it did? I guess I'll try fire. Oh, death. Okay, sweet. I think you learned a new spell. Oh, she doesn't have fire. Okay. Oh, crap. I guess we'll just do the chocobo. Or nothing, because... Screw that noise. I'm just gonna cast darkness on him. I've got plenty of HP. Oh, that didn't do nothing to him. Pfft. She's using the uh, staff right now, not the rod. So, uh... Given the spawn rates of this particular enemy, though, I don't know if it's really worth. Just cast Cure again, I guess. Why is he not hitting them, though? See, I've only got the one Maiden's Kiss. Uh, do I have any, uh... What's the other one? No, I don't have any elixirs or whatever that cures everything, so. Yeah, I'll just have to use darkness again. Cure. Everything else is, like, not doing damage. I think it's because he's got that dark sword. Crap, this doesn't have the, um... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Those guys were a pain in the butt to fight. Cecil is completely useless against him. Okay, good. I hope, hopefully, this will cure him of his toad. Oh, after years, how far along are you on that one? Yeah. I might go ahead, just untoad him, save, and then I'll just reload this save if I encounter trouble with those toads again. I think it might be ca only cabins that'll cure the status. Guess we'll see, though. Okay, he's back to normal. Okay, good. Okay. 
I guess I'll put them back up front. But yeah, let's go ahead and equip. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the rod for her anyways, just in case we run run into the zombies. All right. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I mean, that's that's a smart move for Nintendo. I mean, Smash Brothers is one of their biggest franchises. Oh, Ice Ride. Okay. Even better. He did 57 to that one. What happened to this one damage crap we were dealing with earlier? <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Is it because he got a critical or something? You suck, Tella. Why can't you hit? Let's just run. I don't want to fight these guys anyways. They're not worth the paint hassle. Oh, wait. That's, that's the way I was going. Okay. Yeah. Bomb fragment. Okay. This was the way I came from, I do believe. Yep. Okay. Okay, yes, I forgot all about this. Wait, where am I going? Hmm. Atta girl. I don't even know why I'm conserving magic right now. Oh, Marco's on. Okay. So one sec. I got to grab a plug-in for my phone real quick. Yeah, I probably mostly need to conserve, but I'm sure I can use a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'll always try to run if I run into any zombies. There we go. Feathered cat. That's probably useful for her mostly. Yep. Okay. Yeah, all that work just to... Can't even find the freaking secret wall again. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's got more speed than Tella now. That's good. Ooh, 
Red Moose. Okay, shoot. What is their freaking magic weakness? Uh, I guess we'll try Blizzard. See how that Blizzard hits before he casts. If she ever casts, come on. Mm, let's try Fire then. Probably will heal him, I'm sure. Nope. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have fire yet, though, unfortunately. Definitely want to conserve her magic for uh, being able to use Chocobo, of course. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, whew. close. Okay, I'm not sure if that's... Oh, is that all he gets is 90? That's kind of interesting if so. Oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> Not what I intended to do, but that works. Have at it, Tella. That would be a useful strategy if it was Final Fantasy 2, the NES one. A lot of people hate on that one, but I actually like it for what it is. And the mechanic was clearly flawed, but I like the whole uh, do things to get better at them strategy. Okay, good. That ice thing is actually good. That's probably the what they're weak to is Blizzard, I bet. Crap. Dang, this spawn rate is insane. Alright, just cast the spells. Favorite Final Fantasy random battle theme. Hmm. That's really tough. This one's definitely up there. I actually did a top uh, 10 or 15 or whatever it was. Uh, JRPG theme songs. Battle themes. So definitely check that video out. Although it wasn't 100% random battle themes. Because some of them were boss fight themes and whatnot. Or special event ones. It's my YouTube channel, Down Phoenix, of course. Okay. Yeah, freaking encounter rate's crazy in this dungeon. It's like all over the place. Antarctic wind. What the heck is that? Oh, okay, it's a usable item. Shadow Blade. That sounds good. Heck yeah.
I guess we'll listen to his advice. We could use a rest. Oh, I could do DS music original SNES score in this. Hmm. Ah, okay. There's really not that much of a difference. I mean, yeah. It just seemed like this one, they just kind of fluffed it up a little bit more, you know, like... Used better, like, uh, MIDI instruments than what they had available back then. That's probably all they really did. Nothing wrong with it, so I'm gonna stick with the arrangement. Well, tell you didn't say anything about us falling down a waterfall. Good going. You could have warned us there. Would have been nice. I don't know why he's using Osmos. My mistake. <laughs> that was pretty dumb of me. Uh, don't worry about it, Tella. I won't hold it against you too much. Yeah, are they gonna have like another Nintendo Direct or something for that or or what? Uh, okay. Did you learn uh, fire yet? Nope. You did, though. Well, I mean, if they're, if they're kind of making it like a really casual... Um... I don't know if there was anything down here. It seems like there was, but let's just run. Yeah, I'll drop that money, whatever. Yeah, that's right. You're right. She does get a fire from the event. I totally forgot about that. I honestly don't care if they do virtual console. I mean... At this point, that's what that's what the Super Nintendo Classic and such represents. Is there a maneuver to do that? And they'll come out with a new version every couple of years with a different game roster. I guarantee you the one they're coming out with in the summer, it's going to have some different games. It's not going to be all the same. Okay. Have him cast his fire spells. Yeah, if they do bring Virtual Console, they need to have some method of transporting your games from, like, at least the Wii U and 3DS. I, I doubt they'll do the original Wii. 
That's pretty unlikely. That would be really cool if they did, but just don't see it happening. Uh, sub growth's been pretty slow. I haven't been uploading videos too much, though. It's all dependent on algorithms and, uh, you know, just natural growth from user engagement and whatnot, so... I'm actually wondering if that was even a good idea to do what I did run. Because I might have been mistaken on the uh, way the algorithm works. Okay. Like, I'm sure it still does factor in the channel's age, but maybe not as much as I previously thought. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. Well, if you want to, it's uh, Down Phoenix on YouTube. Um, that's my old channel. And then I've got the new channel. It's called Down Phoenix Rising. That's really the new one now. So. I'll cast Blizzard. Dang it. The little mage buttholes are going to take all my magic. <sighs> well, at least Tell will be able to get his magic back. Some of it. Why can't she hit anything? Ridiculous. Yeah, give me that magic back. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That that fight kicked our butts. Hades armor, Hades sandals. Okay. There we go. All right, here we go. I don't know if he'll get anything from recall, but I figure it's a boss fight. It might be a good spot to use it. No, okay. This is actually a pretty easy boss fight.
Ah, okay, that must be Tella's... Ah, crap, I accidentally did attack with her. Alright. What does warp do? I forgot. Uh, okay. It's kind of weird it's a black magic spell. Oh shoot, the airship's blowing up damn cyan. Oh man, that's terrible. Figure I save here. Okay. Yeah, Edward has very limited use. I wouldn't say he's useless entirely, but his uh, stuff is only useful in certain circumstances. Plus, he kind of starts off weak, too. <laughs> you spoony bard? Ha <laughs> ha! Guess they didn't bother to retranslate that. They just kept that in. Because <laughs> it's too classic. I'm sure it was probably meant to be something like you stupid bard or something like that, but I guess whoever translated it got I either got things mixed up or they intentionally said something weird like that. Yeah, it's such a classic line.
Well, it's iconic now, but I mean, like, it wasn't iconic of back then. <laughs> when it was not a meme. Because memes didn't exist. Yeah, give him the Batman slap. <laughs> What a trooper. He keeps playing that harp even though he got slapped. I guess dead bodies will disappear when they're told goodbye. Fair enough. Okay, I guess we're fully healed. I remember he was kind of a weak character, but it doesn't really matter because I think his damage is the same either way. So we'll put him right here. So I think his attack isn't affected by the row that he's in. Okay. Trying to use this hovercraft here. Okay. We'll probably call it a stream after we complete this uh, area. Uh, I'll go ahead and grind Edward a few levels before we go in. Because he is kind of weak right now. I know he doesn't get much better, but I need him in top shape. Um, I think Sav was like a heat. Yeah, it's a heal. Okay, it's like a free heal. So that part's kind of useful. Oh, shoot, I just noticed those tiny mages are there. I better deal with them quick. All right, sick him, Edward. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I like the Lego Batman movie. It's really funny. It's a good time.
I'll get him up to, like, I think level 8. That should be good enough, I think. It won't really take very long, either. A few fights. Probably should have him use his sleep ability. That would be the most useful. Yeah, attack yourself, Sandworm. You could do it. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to wait for that. Do I have Discord? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I do have a Discord server. Um, the best way to find it is to go to my Down Phoenix YouTube channel and then go to like any recent video. It should be in the description, the link for it. Because I don't have it, like, memorized or anything like that, so I can tell you that way. Yeah, kill that freaking bastard before he, uh, can kill us. Or take our magic. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. That's all it did to that little mage? Okay, good. Wait, does that use a potion? I'll have to check on that. I don't remember it using item slots, but... Okay, I've got six potions and three potions. That, that's kind of weird that they're grouped like that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, JRPG Gaming has joined the server. Yes. I thought you already had. I could have swore you had. Well, welcome either ways. Yeah, now when I want random encounters, they don't come. I guess I'll go inside the cave. Maybe I can get some in there. Kind of on the entrance area. Spider silk. Yeah, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Oh, dang. That rod does a lot of damage to that thing. Okay. Shoot. I don't even know if I'm going to bother grinding him. He's fine. He'll live. Okay. Probably should check and see if he uh, can have better armor by any chance. No. His defense just sucks.
Yeah, I'll have to do hide. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. The other thing that sucks about that bard thing or whatever, the effects are completely random. You have no choice on what kind of effect he'll do. But his attacks are shitty, so I mean, might as well do something like that. Okay, about to find out if that potion does use or not. How many did I have? No, I don't think it does. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I had before was 12. Okay. It's just really weird that it says potion. That's kind of dumb that it would say that. <laughs> it's like throwing me off on purpose. Thank you. We'll take that. Oh, I'm not on my Discord at the moment, at least not the chat portion of it. But if I was, yeah, I'm sure I'd hear you. I mean, it's on my cell phone. I've got my cell phone here so I can read the comments while I'm playing the game. So I'm playing on my TV instead of my computer. If I remember right, you can use a 10 in this cave, so uh, I'm just going to press on. Yeah, go silence the adamant toys. That's what it needs. Not be able to cast magic. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, a treasure chest contained Lay me a harp. Okay, sweet. So that's an upgraded harp, I guess. Yep. If I remember the right, the uh, harps do change the overall like effects that his stuff has. I guess that was effective. I'm not seeing him do anything. Okay, good. It's, yeah, his harp's doing okay damage now. At least it's enough to kill little enemies like that. Oh, that harp is, like, way more uh, accurate. He barely misses with it. That's good. It, but it's like game. You could have just gave him that useful weapon to begin with. Like, <laughs> did we have to dilly-dally with this guy? Okay, I say that, and then he's, like, constantly missing now, of course. Oh, they they have like at least 10 hit points at most or at most 10 hit points dang those things suck ah, just run the ne number of random encounters is just ridiculous i'm like just running into everything there's nothing even here Great. Alright, so I guess I do need to go into that one cave that I bypassed earlier. Where is it? Over here, okay. Yeah, because the cave down there, that is actually... Yeah, here's where I can save and stuff. Okay, sweet. Emergency exit. Alright, okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and use our tin up. Oh, yeah, Nintendo can do better, but, you know, they're going to bring it back. They're bringing back the, the NES Classic. 
See, that's, that's what I think they're going to do. They're going to bring it back. They'll change some of the games up. Like, they'll probably change up some of the third-party games that they'll include. Maybe add a couple of games overall. Like, maybe instead of 21 games, it might have, like, 25 or something like that. But they'll bring it back probably at the same price point. You know, probably in the hopes that people that uh, bought it the first time will buy it again with the updated version. Hmm. All right, great. Oh, crap. I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Run. Tired of these random encounters, man. They're just... They keep popping them off. Crap, wrong enemy. Alright, that'll work. Yeah, see, Edward ain't that bad. I mean, offense-wise, yeah, he kind of sucks, but he does have occasional useful support capabilities. I don't know. I guess I kind of like... I have a soft spot for him because he's kind of like a tragic hero. And he never really finds greatness. But he tries. He's a realistic character. Like Rydia being a little girl that just lost her mother. She is unrealistic in her uh, ability to uh, kind of withstand it. Although she is a summoner too. So I guess that has something to do with it. <laughs> like if I was able to summon monsters. Yeah, I probably would act a little more badass and, than I would otherwise. But yeah. We got us a crazed antlion. I'm not sure. I'm just going to use Chocobo. It's a good general attack. I'll have him use the bard song. Maybe I can get him to uh, make the boss fall asleep or something like that. That might be useful. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I've got the Steam version. It's supposed to be the same game, but they might have changed it up, too. I'll have to take a look at that.
So this one definitely favors the easy side, so far at least. Yeah, the boss barely did a dent on me. It's kind of cool how they did the, uh, the little wormhole or whatever that's supposed to be. Did we kill the only ant lion in the whole den? Well, that's great. Oh, okay. So, you, so if I wanted to play that difficulty setting, I just have to set it to hard mode. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just have her cast the warp spell, get us out of here. I don't know if I can keep casting it. Guess we'll try. All right, sweet. Wait, why did the music not change? I thought it was supposed to change. Huh. I don't know if there was anything we could do in Damn Cyan, so let me check it out. Some guy mentioned something about healing pots earlier. Might as well see if I can use those at least. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. Well, we got a hovercraft outside. You just come with us. MP, I guess. Yep. Okay. Walk around the edge outside to the right, right room of chests. Oh, okay. Over here? Oh, you're talking about inside the castle. Okay. So that must be upstairs. I already got one chest over here. But if there's a secret one, I don't remember it really. Outside. Oh, okay. Outside of the castle. Yes, okay. I remember. I think I remember what we're talking about now. Like, I just go like this, kind of. Yeah, I remember. Well, they're taking it. Feather cap, crossbow, ruby ring. Who can use a crossbow, I wonder? Can uh, she use it? Oh, hell yeah, she can. Hmm. You could have told me about this earlier. <laughs> 
Just kidding, no. I guess these are items that Rosa could use. Like the holy arrows and whatnot. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to make it. I'm going to make a Final Fantasy Friday. May not be every Friday, but I think that's what I'm going to stream on Fridays, is Final Fantasy stuff. So I am a fan. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, that's right, because she can't do that. Oh, wait, I can just take the shallows. I don't have to go through the cave. Yeah, here we go. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save Rosa, and then we'll call it a night. Where are you, Rosa? Here you are. Oh, use the hovercraft back to Baron? Oh, yeah, I can totally go back there, I suppose. Oops. Sorry. He asked how, how she was feeling. <laughs> I skipped it over accidentally. No mention of Tella, though, huh? We're not going to tell her about it? No. <laughs> Talk about a total dad joke there. So, if anybody played this game back in the day, they're probably old enough, at least, to be a dad. If they're not a dad, obviously. Yeah, get old stream delays. Can't beat them. I'm seeing things several seconds before you guys do. So it's like I live in the future when I'm streaming a video game. Behold the future. I press the X button. And now I see the next line of dialogue before you do. Ha ha. Ugh. But if I was streaming this on Mixer, it'd actually be almost instant. Like, Mixer is really neat on that aspect of it. It's just nobody uses it. So I only use it when I'm on Xbox. Uh-oh. Edward's on his own. Fighting a Sahagan.
Congrats, Edward. You were able to kill a monster just with a harp. Dang, 800 experience. Why was it worth so much? Okay. Wait, what do you say? Why would you say that to Cecil? Here, say it to the correct person. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so I guess... Um... We'll wrap this up. We're going to go to Mount Fable, I suppose, in the next stream. And we'll proceed from there. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, but till then, Down Phoenix, out.